Hello everybody, this is Dallas Johnson with Dealer Training. I want to talk to you about some of the things that you're going to experience when you begin going to dealer auctions. Because when you get a dealer license in your home state, not only is it going to allow you into your home state dealer auctions, it's going to allow you into every single dealer auction in the United States. It's going to allow you into every single dealer auction in Canada and even the dealer auctions in Mexico. So with your home state dealer license, you'll be able to get into every single dealer auction in North America. So when you get that license, just take a copy of it into your local dealer auction. They're going to welcome you with open arms and they're going to set you up with what we call an auction access ID card. It looks like a little driver's license. It's going to have your picture on it and that's going to be your key to every single dealer auction in North America. So normally when you go into a dealer auction you'll see a bunch of looks like vending machines along a wall by the entrance and you'll stick your dealer auction card, your auction access card right into that vending machine uh, and you're going to punch your dealer number in there and it's going to print you up a bidding pass for that day. And each dealer auction and changes the color of their bidding passes every single week. So no matter what, that's going to show that you currently hold a motor vehicle dealer license from your state, and that way you'll be legally able to enter the dealer auctions. So you'll take that bidding pass and you're going to show it to security because most of the larger dealer auctions have security that works in front of the lanes, and you're not able to get onto the dealer lanes until you can show security that day's bidding pass. So once you get onto the lanes, there's definitely going to be a learning curve for you because uh, there's a it's a lot of action going on to a dealer auction. You can make a lot of money with the vehicles that you purchase at dealer auctions or if you're like me, you can lose a lot of money at dealer auctions, which is what happened to me when I first entered my first few dealer auctions because I had absolutely no clue on what to expect in a dealer auction. And I felt like a kid in a candy store jumping up and down bidding on these vehicles. And I would literally look at a vehicle coming through the lane and I could not believe, you know, it was getting ready to sell for, say, for example, $5,000. And I think no matter what, somebody on my lot will give me seven or $8,000 for this beautiful car and I'd buy it for $5,000, clean it up, bring it back to my lot. And I'd look across the street to the dealer across the street and he might have seven or eight of them, identical versions of those vehicles that he couldn't sell for $3,000 a piece. So I, I winged it on vehicle pricing, which was a huge mistake. And now I've learned when you have a dealer license, you're gonna have access to all types of sales data that a person without a dealer license does not have. So one of the great examples is gonna be Manhunt. And you'll hear me talk many times about Mannheim. Mannheim is the largest dealer auction company in the world. They have locations all over the world. And when you get your dealer license, Mannheim is going to give you all their data absolutely free through their Mannheim market report. So you can literally download this app onto your phone. You can take this your phone right up to the vehicle as it's coming through the lane. You can take a picture of the VIM and it's going to show you the vehicle model, the history. It's also going to show you last week's wholesale price averages. So it's going to show you this week's predicted wholesale prices. And this software is so extensive, it's actually going to predict your retail markup as well. So you can literally sit right there on the lane and decide what, you know, if it's worth your retail markup to go ahead and purchase that vehicle. So say, for example, if you're looking at a 2015 Toyota Camry, let's say, for example, they were selling for 10000 last week wholesale. It'll tell you they were selling average for 10000 last week wholesale. That's very close to what you want to give this week. You know, if they were selling for 10000 last week and the prices are going up to twelve or 13000 this week, that's a buy that I'm certainly not going to make. But if you look at a vehicle that was selling for ten thousand last week, and this week you've got a chance to get it for seven or eight thousand, that's a buy that you certainly want to entertain. So uh, you know you certainly want to study this wholesale vehicle pricing through Mannheim's Market Report. You can get it through Odessa. Another excellent resource for you is going to be Black Book. Now, I'm not saying Blue Book. I'm talking about Black Book because Black Book is the wholesale pricing data that is only going to be available to you once you obtain your dealer license. And you, this is not Blue Book. Blue Book is that book that your customer is going to bring into your lot that they purchased at Barnes & Noble. That's a great retail pricing guide, Kelly Blue Book. But we're going to always do our buys off of wholesale values, which you're going to find on Mannheim Market Report. You're also going to find that at Black Book. And you can find out more about that at blackbookusa.com or if you're using some of the software Software. We're going to be going over here in a little while. Dealer, Track, and Frazier. Black Book is actually built right into those. So you're going to have customers that come into your dealership with their Blue Book. They'll bring their Blue Book that they brought in uh, at Barnes & Noble, that they purchased at Barnes & Noble. 
and they might look at a vehicle that you have for sale for say for example 12,000 and they'll look up their blue book they'll say hey listen blue book is 11,500 and I'm not going to go above blue book well you get behind your desk you look black book value and you realize you just bought that vehicle at the dealer auction for say 7,000 on black book value absolutely I would certainly sell that for 11,500 blue book value so I hope this information is helpful to you uh, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel hit the like button we're going to continue to give you some very valuable information that's going to help you on the successful operations of your dealership. Thank you very much. Have a great day.